decorating the Barbara. Hey guys, in today's video, I am going to share with you some tips and ideas on how to decorate your dining room. I will also be sharing a viewer requested tablescape. So as you enter my home, my dining room is one of the first rooms that you see. So it is my formal dining room, so I do like to see a little bit of formality, but I also like it to be approachable. So while you're seeing a tablescape today, I don't always keep the table set. Most times I have a simple tablescape. So before you start decorating, there are a few basic things that you will need to consider. And one would be the table. And that will depend on the size of your room. There's all different shapes that you can get for your table. You can have this one like this one, which is rectangular, there's square, and there's round, and there's oval. Pick the best one for the size of your room. Okay, so now that you have your table, you're thinking about what will I do for chairs? Now, if you guys are stuck with chairs that you don't absolutely love, think about changing out two of the head chairs. I did that in the beginning when I had four wood chairs. I changed out my two captain's chairs for upholstery chairs. Great lighting is key to the success of a dining room. Now, if you have room in your dining room, a sideboard or a buffet is always a good idea because you have a nice place to put a pair of lamps. Okay, so your paint color is definitely a key factor in decorating your dining room. You do want to make sure you have the proper paint color to coordinate with your furniture. Many of you guys ask about my paint color and it is Revere Pewter by Benjamin Moore, and it is a warm gray. Now, if you're not sure how to choose a paint color, you can call your local paint store or go into a local decorator store, and they should have someone there who can come to your home and help advise you with paint colors. So you may ask, why did I change the color? And that is because I really wanted the chair to stand out in contrast against the wall. And when the wall was in the cream color, the chair blended into the wall. And so I wanted the difference. So now you want to put something on the wall. And there are many options that you can go with. I went with a mirror a piece of abstract art, and then I went with a script wall art. Now many times you will see a mirror over the buffet, but I wanted to switch things up this year and so I put my mirror here facing the wall as you walk into the home. I also like the fact that when you walk into the home, you can look through the mirror and see the art piece. The brown, I believe, pulls in the light fixture and the table, and this picture was just the perfect addition to this room, in my opinion. Now another idea for your dining room that is a must and that will be curtains. It is important to pick nice curtains. You also want to be sure that the curtains you pick have a nice white backing to the street side. So I do like a line curtain as well as a heavy weight to the curtain because it helps to keep your pleats in place. 
Now, another tip that I have about curtains is the way you hang them. Now, if you have a small window in your dining room and you don't like curtains because you don't want to take away from the light that comes into the space, try hanging your curtains right to the edge of the blind. You do want the window trim to be covered, but pull that curtain right up to the edge. That way you will get the maximum amount of light coming into the space. After a recent video where I shared some mercury glass decorating ideas, a viewer asked if I would set a mercury glass tablescape. And so that's what I'm gonna share with you today. So many of these items I have shared with you in past videos, so I won't be going into detail where everything is from. So today's tablescape will be a very light and airy spring look using lavender and a very soft green. But there is one thing that I wanted to point out to you guys and that is this glass plate that I shared in a recent video. I had a viewer point out to me that this was a vintage glass plate from the 30s and she thought the pattern name was called Miss America. And I was grateful for her to leave that information. I really do like when you guys help me out with things that I may not know about. And so thank you so much to her for um, sharing that information with me. And like I had mentioned before, it is a favorite plate of mine, so I wanted to use it again in this tablescape. And so for this setting, I'm using the same charger that I used in the um, last tablescape as well as the um, glass plate here. And then this little white dessert plate, I picked up 12 of those from Goodwill several years ago and I got a stack of 12 for about $3.99. So guys, please continue to watch the video, and if you saw something in this video that you liked, would you please consider subscribing. Also hit the like button and share this video with a friend. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. So I know you may be asking me, why books, Barbara? Well, many of us are watching church online. We're watching Bible study online. We have your Zoom meetings. And maybe some of your kids are using the table for schoolwork. Whatever the case, this is a nice casual look that you could use to um, come in here and have a quiet uh, prayer time and then the books they're just something a place where you can keep your Bible or your notepads or pen to take notes Now for this look, candles are always a hit. If you don't have matching candles, why not spray paint? Take whatever candlesticks that you have, spray paint them all the same color or vary a few of them in slightly different color or whatever works for your decor. Or you can mix it like I have it here with um, a silver and a neutral color.